EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present opening round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Today we're here at Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Rich Loder alongside Frank Navalo set to bring you all of the action for the EA Sports Spring Invitational. And Frank, what can the players expect from Wolf Creek? Just a mesmerizing layout, Rich. You can see that from above. Straight driving is imperative out there today. You actually don't have to hit the ball a long way. The elevation on those tees is gonna give you that extra distance on almost every shot. You can even take driver out of play on some of the holes but really it's about being in the right position first on those tee shots that you're gonna to hit today. Well, he pays a price for that. Yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball in the rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. Gonna need a bit of force to extract one out of there. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. We'd like to have that one back. Still a chance to get it up and down. That is always so disappointing from that kind of a spot when you come up short. Yeah, you're licking your chops over that one. The shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. That was well done, and now a very short putt to get out of here with a bogey. Well, it could be a lot worse, that's for sure, five minutes ago. So with that, the score is now at even par. Now down to hole number 15. As we check in on this early round action, we join our featured golfer already playing well to this point. Couple of low numbers on the scorecard. Yeah, it uh, looks very good. Good swings out there and uh, some good putting as well. Should be safely on deck. That's an outstanding shot right there and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Oh, I thought he had that. Made a good run at birdie. He'll have to focus now, try to walk away with the par. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Drops it, and he's at even par. Short par four, 16th hole, measures only 393 yards. But Frank, as is the case with pretty much every hole, despite the yardage, there's plenty of trouble. It does, it plays tricks on the mind's eye here. It looks like it's a dog leg going one way, then back the other way. But really it's built as a straight hole just across the canyon. And, and that's the way you've got to play it. Um, I don't think you can drive the green, even the longest hitters at 393 yards, but uh, just a nice drive down there. Take the bunkers on, get it past there, and. The, before you know it, you've got a little wedge in here, and it should sit up nicely for a birdie. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. So the short miss, and those are painful. Just five feet left. Well, not in contention, but in for par. Frank, you licking your chops here at the par five, 17th hole? Oh, why not? A chance to reach a par five and two, but there's still pitfalls in front of you. A little creek or stream runs across the fairway. So really limiting the distance you can hit that tee shot, but it's still reachable from just short of that uh, creek. Find trouble off the tee, then obviously you turn it into a free shotter, but a good tee shot and it's too tempting to resist not going for this green. 
That is just a beautiful shot. 190 yards now for this second shot. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. Even par currently. That was a good run at it, Rich. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not gonna birdie every hole. Still even par for the day. Finishing hole here at Wolf Creek is only 307 yards. Frank, where's the trouble here? Uh, short and to the right of this par four. Really, there's a multitude of options off this tee. You could hit an iron, you could hit a fairway wood. Even some might try and hit a driver, but uh, you know that's a little too risky. There's too many, uh, too many problems up ahead if you try and take this hole on. Really, a short club off the tee, um, leaving yourself some area of 100, 70 yards, and, and you're going to be putting for birdie more often than not. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. Don't forget, second round coverage coming your way tomorrow here on EA Sports for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present second round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. Now this is not hitting in the right direction. No, it looks like it's gonna be in the rough. Good tee shot, right in the short grass. Frank, no reason here to think we're going to see anything other than another good shot. Yeah, in a great flow, and uh, golf like this looks easy. Headed for the bunker? In the bunker, still with a chance for an up and down. And an awkward little bunker shot, just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. And he's made the green. It's no snack, though. Great sense of speed in that. We know you can make those, but that went right in the middle. Frank, another really rugged hole. This is the par 311th here at Wolf Creek. Rich, remember that book, uh, Dead Solid Perfect? This is what this hole's all about, because you must hit that tee shot solid. You've got to carry all the trouble in front of you. And remind yourself, too, there's enough green grass down there. Not necessarily green, but green grass around there. A good shot safely on the putting surface here, and this green's not too severe. But uh, this is a fun par 3 just to look at, or even at least experience. He'd settle for par here. You'd like that one again. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Well, not going to make par here. He needs this to only give up one. 
Frank, it's been that kind of a tournament. Another bogey. Yeah, it's not exactly a small gap between uh, that player there and, uh, and the rest of the field. That gap's got to feel like the Grand Canyon right now. Boy, this one has a chance to be really good. That's a good spot right there. Send a cup. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Oh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. With that birdie, moving into the top 20 on the leaderboard. 13th hole, and Frank, Wolf Creek is really kind of a macho golf course because you can stand on a tee like this and say, you know what, I'm going to take this one over the mountains. And then, if you do, then you flip the coin. Is it in play or is it out of play? This is, uh, this is one hole. You just uh, you realize you're in the middle of the desert, that's for sure. And one hole that you think, well, if I play this hole a couple of times, I might just get the hang of it. Right where they were aiming, in the fairway. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. That was not a very good read right there. Not this time. Settles in over the putt. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. Running a little hot right now. Cool down just a little bit. Third round coverage comes your way tomorrow on EA Sports for Frank Nabilo and our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.
EA Sports and the Wolf Creek Golf Club so proudly present third round coverage of the EA Sports Spring Invitational. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Coming off a bogey here yesterday, chance to make it right. That finds the bottom of the cup. We'll call that a birdie. Par 5, 12th, and Frank, another reminder that Wolf Creek can really be intimidating. It, it can. Water down the left. Uh, they'll take a huge dent off your scorecard. Uh, a lot of fairway down the right. Somehow find that this par 5 can be reachable and two. There's still trouble to the right of this green if you get a little bit cavalier. This, without doubt, the longest green in the golf course. It's 55 yards from front to back. Set for his next shot from a good position in the fairway. Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself that it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, down breeze, tear it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. Frank, how much does that birdie help the cause? Well, it doesn't look like much right now, Rich. Just sneaking inside the top 20. But at the end of the day, that might be the one that turned the tide. 13th hole here at Wolf Creek, and Frank, anyone can say, oh, I'm going to take this one over the trees. But very few can stand up and say, I'm flying this baby clear over the mountains. Yeah, if you take the direct route, um, obviously it's going to be much shorter than the 350 yards that it's measured as a dog leg right. So the direct line, well, I don't want to tell you the exact yardage because it might give you too much of a clue, but it might be worth taking. It's going to be a blind tee shot, though, and you're not quite sure on the outcome. So from the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait. And at least now, he's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Frank, how about that? Oh, can you believe that, too? I mean, could have hit the flag and bounced away instead. Straight in. Amazing shot. And really deserves it. Now to the 14th hole, and Frank, this is probably the best par four here at Wolf Creek. Well, it's certainly the hole that they take the most photographs on, uh, and Rich, and you can see why. Great vantage point of the whole golf course. Uh, the hole's just sort of littered with bunkers down the left side. So you know where not to go once again. Go to the right side of that. Uh, the hole just keeps sort of hooking around that left side. Um, it plays under 450 yards. It's fun. Just sort of ward a little off the tee, ward a little into the green, and you'll be fine. Okay, partner, what's the right play into the green here at 14? This one, Rich, you'd actually like to go green backwards because if you look at the green first, it's got three distinct levels. Uh, it's the low point at the back there, and then there's a high point in the middle, and then uh, obviously the front of the green. So you've got to know exactly where that second shot's going to land. Plus, chances are you're going to be playing that second shot with the ball slightly above the feet. Therefore, the tendency for a right-hander is that ball to be coming in with a draw. So be very cognizant of that. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Has his par. Frank, what's a player feeling knowing they have one more round to go and they could have a chance at making a run and maybe win this thing? No, it's a great feeling, Rich. At this point, um, really, you, it's just about whether you can handle the nerves. You know everybody up there is going to be feeling them.
EA Sports and the Golf Club so proudly present final round coverage. A invitation. You about the position right in the fairway and charge to the flag stick. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. That's that sneaky distance. That's what you want to see right now, right there. Great birdie. Time running out, but still, he could get the job done. We'll see. We're here at the downhill par 3, 11th hole. Frank hits 215 yards from the back tee. This hole uh, certainly is not for the faint of heart. When you look at that tee shot, you think, oh, my God, what do I do from here? But remind yourself, it's 215 yards and really only about 160, 170 yards to green grass again. But it's 215 yards. That should be the club that you're trying to pick. Green's big enough. Just persuade yourself Try not to look at the canyon in the desert. There is a green down there. The hole is playable. Frank, all of a sudden, another player to factor in on this leaderboard. And things are starting to tighten up right now. We'll see where the next move comes from. Ah, oh, nice. Looks good. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, t the tee shot was like silk, Rich. I mean, just sets up that second shot so beautifully. Case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Getting set now over the putt. And that is an eagle with a capital E. It is exciting and into the top five. Big jump off the leaderboard. Now to the 13th hole, and, oh, I don't know, should we just fly it over the mountains, Frank? <laughs> It looks like that, uh, but then you better find dry land. 350 yards, but as the crow flies, it's probably just a little over 300 yards. I don't know if the mere mortals would really want to flash it across that desert ridge. Uh, you probably want to play a little after it, have a little pitch up the hill. But if you're one of the longer hitters, why not just try and see if you can make it? That should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Looks like par may not be good enough to get the job done here. Big change in the top of the leaderboard. Get another birdie, so it pushes him back to second. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, uphill shot, what did you like to do on a, a play like this? The biggest thing really is to try and work on your balance. You've got to make sure you get through the shot and normally take an extra club. Oh, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Well, he'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. 
Remember, out of the rough. Expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. Putting all of his talents on display here from the rough, and he knocks it really close. Beautiful shot. And that pass certainly won't uh, hurt the cause. Still some time. Now to the par 3 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. Frank, this is the shortest hole on the course. And their version of a postage stamp type hole, minus the bunkers on the right side. Uh, green elevated falls off, as you can see, down the left side. Uh, club selection is vital, but it is such a short hole. It's very, very tempting, especially when that flag's on the left side to still go at it. But you miss this green on the left, and you are going to be considerably lower than the level of this green. Mm. This is that awkward length. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. That's a nice confidence builder right there. You make those for par and you keep things steady. Short par four, 16th hole, measures only 393 yards, but Frank, as is the case with pretty much every hole, despite the yardage, there's plenty of trouble. It does. It plays tricks on the mind's eye here. It looks like it's a dog leg going one way and back the other way. But really, it's built as a straight hole just across the canyon. And, and that's the way you've got to play it. Um, I don't think you can drive the green. Even the longest hit is at 393 yards. But uh, just a nice drive down there. Take the bunkers on. Get it past there. And before you know it, you've got a little wedge in here. And it should sit up nicely for a birdie. Another good swing. And it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. That would be a great look at birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Well, birdies are hard to come by in this situation. So tight. Keeps him right in the thick of it. Frank, this is really a cool closing stretch here at Wolf Creek. Short par 3, 15th, the short 4 at the 16th, and now the par 5, 17th. You can make up some ground in a hurry as you come down the finishing stretch. You certainly can. A good drive short of the uh, little stream creek that runs across there, and this is doable as a two-shotter. You find the bunkers or trouble off the tee, then uh, obviously you're forced to lay up, leaving that third shot across the water. But really a fun hole if you want to try and take that second shot on. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. Oh, my gosh, that hurts. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Oh, that hurts. Good chance here. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Finishing hole here at Wolf Creek is only 307 yards. Frank, where's the trouble here? Uh, short and to the right of this par four. Really, there's a multitude of options off this tee. You could hit an iron, you could hit a fairway wood. Even some might try and hit a driver, but, uh, you know, that's a little too risky. Good news is, was able to retrieve the golf ball. Uh, yeah, on dry land, and uh, can he carry it this time, though? Third shot now, after the last one found the deep blue. Yeah, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. Pretty good shot right there. This for the victory at the EA Sports Spring Invitational. So a tough way to close the round, missing a short putt and a bogey here at 18. It's no snack though.
That's a bogey, but still in the lead. We, we start to see shots in hand, really valuable. Just a fantastic week of golf. Add that one to the win count. A lot of uh, great quality players out there, and to come on top of that leaderboard is truly a great accomplishment. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live first-round coverage of the Boston Championship. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Setting up for the approach, this player in total command. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, the decision making, club selection is being spot on, but uh, the execution, the swing, is, uh, is really what I'm admiring right now. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Wow, I thought he made that. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important that this one goes in. Even par, currently. So that's a bogey, and now to one over par for the tournament. Frank, like all TPC golf courses, TPC Boston has the fan in mind. So you see those mounds throughout the golf course that gives people a chance to just sit, relax, and watch some golf. And there's a nice shady spot on the hill behind the 11. Yeah, that's just before the uh, the 12 tee, and, and you really do get a look at uh, the tee shots coming in at 11, as well as the little. Uh, undulations and contours on that massive green. Ends up in the first cut, and he'll have a pretty good look at the whole location from here. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Shouldn't be a problem here. Just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. So just a formality. And he makes it for a bogey here. Frank, the 12th looks to be a pretty straightforward par four. Just uh, bends to the left. There is a big sort of crop of mounds on that right side. Uh, if you can just go a little left of those, you get a nice kick forward. not overly long, but still a pretty good spot and in the fairway. Yeah, that's in that 280 mark. Second shot. Yeah. 
Early part of this second nine and a good approach shot. And now, pretty good chance for birdie. Now it's that sneaky distance. With a good read, might have been able to make it from that distance, but not to be. This would give him the par. Wow, almost fell within just a few inches of dropping. Three over for the day. Let's go down now to hole number 13. Frank, what's the mindset this late in the first round when you haven't played your best? Well, somehow you've got to get into the clubhouse, minimize the damage. And you've also got to figure out what's gone wrong. A little trip to the range, fix it up. Tomorrow will be a better day. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Good swing, good shot yet again. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Getting set now over the putt. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho-hum pars. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Boston Championship. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Setting up for an approach shot here. This is going to be a tough day on the links. I mean, even the seagulls are walking to work. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Not too bad. It's about 23 feet away. He didn't hit the flag stick, but he still has a chance. Par yesterday, now for birdie. Frank, that's not one you're necessarily thinking about making. No, just a uh, good putt though. There's no two ways about that. He's putting well. Has his par. We're at the seventh hole now, a Boston Strong 600-yard par five. But it's reachable. There's enough mounding there. If a tee shot catches one of those mounds, it could kick another 20 or 30 yards and certainly make this reachable. Right where they were aiming, in the fairway. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. That one is bunker-bound, it looks like. 
Not what he wanted, but he's headed to the beach. This shot from 105 yards away. VJ Singh, Charlie Hoffman, and Big Henrik Stenson, they all have one thing in common. They all tie for the low tournament score at TPC Boston, 22 under. And they're all good. Yeah, this is a golf course that uh, obviously gives in to the longer hitters. And if there's just a little bit of sting taken out of the greens, then these long hitters have a huge advantage. Another good swing, another good approach shot. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. He's made it. Coming off the long par 5-7, now a par 3, 213 yards. What's the eighth hole all about? Another hole that uh, picks with the same theme. Really want to fly this nice and high. Uh, that narrow part at the front of the green really is to be avoided unless the flag is there. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? So a tester from four feet. Well, that was a tricky one, but it's in. Frank, I don't know about you, but I love a good hot dog and a soda at the turn. Of course, it tastes a lot better after you've made par. How difficult is that proposition here at the ninth? Well, if you stray with your T-shirt here, you'll be making hamburgers, that's for sure. Oh, nice little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. Frank, here at the ninth, what are most players trying to do? Well, you really have to be aware of that bunker. Um, that's about 25 yards short of the green. If you, if you finish up there, that's one of the hardest shots in golf, the long bunker shots. So you've got to carry that even if you want to run the ball onto the screen. He'll take that one all day long. Very solid, about 15 feet away. Even par, currently. Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for par. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Missed cut. What happened, Frank? Uh, just not good enough. That's the easy way. Way too many shots out there, especially for that caliber of play. So put it in the memory banks. Move forward. Um, better days ahead.
EA Sports is proud to present PGA Tour coverage. And we welcome you to one of the most popular golf courses on the PGA Tour. It is Quail Hollow. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina, and Frank, it is just starting to heat up out on the golf course. Fans are streaming in, anticipating a highly contested event with the best golfers in the world. One reason the fans love this course so much, Rich, the Green Mile. It's fine to have a good golf course, but it's got to have a great finish. It's got a great finish, then it becomes a great golf course. Quail Hollow has that great finish of 16, 17, and 18. Now the approach shot here at the par four first. There's a big mound in the middle of this green, Rich, and the ball has a tendency to kick either side of that. Uh, so just be aware. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. And he's made the green. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Even par early on. Frank, a nice mix of opening holes here at Quail Hollow in the Wells Fargo Championship. Pretty short par three here at the second. 180-yard shot uh, will play more like 175 for the half a club downhill. There's much more green on that right side. If you're not too sure what club to hit, then uh, you should uh, stay away from that left side. That one is running so hot. Second shot coming out of the rough here. <laughs> Frank, that's a par. And onward we go. Moving on to the third hole now. It's a par four, 452 yards. Big sweeping dog leg left, and the fairway actually goes in the opposite direction of the dog leg. Must hit a good tee shot uh, for two reasons. One, to find the fairway, and also the length of this hole, over 450 yards. Just an ideal lot. What can he do? Well, if he takes advantage of the tee shot now and goes at this flag, then he'll certainly gain on the field. computer gives us uh, 23 feet, Rich. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Good effort and good par putt. Action is underway, and we'll take you out to hole number four. As we catch up with today's featured golfer, Frank, what's the key to generating some momentum? Just hitting good shots. I know it sort of sounds like the old cliche, but uh, plenty of opportunities. A few 10, 15 foot putts start going down. This round will change dramatically. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. So from the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait, and at least now, He's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. And the solid play continues. Pretty good approach shot right there. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. He'll be a bit disappointed he didn't make that. He's going to beat himself up on the way to the next tee. 
you don't miss those putts. Just a tap in to finish the hole. Running a little hot right now. Cool down just a little bit. That'll wrap it up from here in the tower at Quail Hollow. I'm Rich Lerner. For Frank Nabilo and all of us here at EA Sports, thank you for playing along, and we'll see you next time. Presented by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Welcome to the home of the Wells Fargo Championship where the likes of Rory McIlroy, Ricky Fowler, and long-hitting J.B. Holmes have all won. It was first open for play in 1961. It has really grown through the years and it is now played by the best in the world. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo for EA Sports. Let's jump down to the golf course. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Second shot. Frank, no reason here to think we're going to see anything other than another good shot. Yeah, in a great flow, and uh, golf like this looks easy. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Frank, I'm sure it feels good to get some red numbers on the card, but this tournament is probably too far out of reach at this point. No question. Frank, on this backside at Quail Hollow, a player does have a good chance to get off to a good start with that par 5 10th and now a relatively short par 4 11th where a player with a good drive could stick a short iron in their hands. Yeah, this is uh, one you're going to have to make a decision. You can just play this as a straight forward dog leg left par 4 and hit a forward or a long iron up there and you know, 9 iron or something like that into the green. Or, if you want it, you can try and blast a drive around the corner. Um, I don't know if that's the more prudent play, but uh, it's fun. No doubt they'll be happy with that shot. Well played. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Here we are now at the 12th, and Frank, this is a beautiful but dangerous hole, par four. It is in a number of ways. The hole bends gently to the right, which you'd think would favor a nice little fade, but it, the fairway just seems to shrink up. I've seen this fairway missed by so many good players, um, and plus it's yardage, 450-odd. Um, you can't really lay back too far, otherwise you've got too long for your second shot. And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. And now we'll have this for birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Frank, he took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Now to the par three, 13th hole. Frank, this one, 210 yards. Very, very good par three. This is actually a big green. It's 37 yards deep, but it actually plays small. 
There's a, a front right portion, there's a roll-off area in the middle, and there's a roll-off area in the back. So don't be deceived by the size of the screen. You better be pitching that tee shot right bang in the middle. Great too. Beautiful. So two rounds in the books. Frank, that was fun. It certainly was. It bodes well for the weekend. Uh, saw a lot of good good players that seem to actually have a good fit for this golf course. So that bodes well for the next 36 holes. This is EA Sports, EGA Tour coverage coming up next. What really sets Quail Hollow apart here at the Wells Fargo Championship, the brutal finishing stretch. They call it the Green Mile, and we are excited to bring you all of the tournament action. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello. Good contact, good result. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Oh, get down. Look out. It's over. The green. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Oh, I thought he had that. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Now as we arrive at the par 5 15th hole here at Quail Hollow, 577 yards, Frank, I think a player has to be thinking about doing what Rory McIlroy did in 2010. It's the last of the holes that you can really be aggressive on, Rich. So a good drive down here. I'm well aware of the fact that there's water on the left. This is a good chance to make something happen before you play the green mile. And that's what McIlroy did. Hit a tracer, then a five iron, knocked it in for eagle, shot 62, and won for the first time on the PGA Tour. Frank, with that brutal green mile looming ahead, beginning at the 16th hole, this might be the last really good opportunity to make something happen, to generate some excitement, his second shot to the 15th. You really have to focus on what's ahead of you right now. Second shot, um, extremely uphill. So the higher you can hit that shot, the better off. And, and of course, this green too, where that ball lands, um, it's almost a lottery. There's so many undulations in this 15th green. Good, solid par right there. This is the start of what some say is the toughest finishing stretch on the PG towards known as the Green Mile. Frank, what makes it so challenging? Well, this hole in particular, Rich, the dog leg right, um, it means it plays every inch of it's just over 500 yards. That bunker you can see down the right, 325 yards to carry that. Um, if you can fly the ball that far, at least you can chew off two thirds of this hole, uh, and that is well required here. Otherwise, it's a long, long second shot. Second shot. Good look at the green. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. That was well judged, wasn't it? Frank, the 17th here at Quail Hollow. It is all you want. And a bit more, actually. The only advantage the player has is it plays a little bit downhill. But when you look at the lake in front of you, if there's any swirling breeze out there, it just becomes a nightmare trying to choose the right car. 
On the green, and the chance for birdie. Par yesterday, now for birdie. This can be a cruel game at times. When you consider the length of that pot, that's a good pot. Not a gimme, but well within his range. You have to make those from that distance? That hurts. Nudge this one home, finish it up. Frank, nothing really went the player's way this week. Yeah, if this was motor racing, you'd say it's a case of having four flat tires. Here we are, the 18th hole at Quail Hollow. Simply put, Frank, a player needs to hit maybe his best tee shot of the day. Uh, I would agree with you, Rich. If you were to measure this hole from trees on the left to trees on the right, it's actually a, a really wide fairway or expansive land. But that creek that just meanders its way through the middle of this hole completely changes the nature of this hole. And consequently, you get the nail on the head. If you don't hit a good tee shot, you will rack up something here. And I've got no idea how big it would be. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. That's a well-played shot, putting the ball right on the green. Mm. This is an awkward length. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect. Well, it's going to hurt the course. That's how you maintain momentum. Make those putts for par. Final round coverage comes your way tomorrow for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying thanks for being with us on EA Sports, and so long for now. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Thanks for joining us here today in Charlotte, North Carolina for the final round of the Wells Fargo Championship. Frank, what do we have out here today? Well, if history uh, has a chance of repeating itself, remember those great closing rounds by Rory McIlroy, uh, that 62 that uh, was one of the best rounds ever shot that year back in 2010 and of course that playoff too Ricky Fowler back in 2012 we actually beat out then world number one Rory uh, McIlroy with that stunning drive down the finishing hole and brilliant wedge to a tight flag uh, this golf course it can give it it can take it away but for us from where we're sitting Rich we'll enjoy the view today no doubt about it Frank made this hole just a little bit harder hitting it into the rough. I would say a lot harder. And setting up here in the rough. Well, he's on the green, but still plenty of work left. About a 25-footer coming up. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the reed. Frank, you can see by the reaction, it has been that kind of week. Just a few too many pars. Now to the par for 11. Frank, what do you think of this hole? It's an interesting hole, uh, Rich, and, I, and I'm curious to see how aggressive players will play here today. Um, the easy way, obviously, is just hit it down the right side and set up a nice second shot with a short iron. Or the most fun way is to take the big stick out and try and bite off as much of that corner as you choose. But be prepared to pay the price should it not come off. So going well up the hill to that green will need to take an extra club here. Seems to like it. Looks like it's 
headed for the green. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Just a little tap in here. Good effort and a good par putt. Here we are now at the 12th, and Frank, this is a beautiful but dangerous hole, par four. It is in a number of ways. The hole bends gently to the right, which you'd think would favor a nice little fade, but it, the fairway just seems to shrink up. I've seen this fairway missed by so many good players. Um, and plus it's yardage, 450 odd. Um, you can't really lay back too far, otherwise you've got too long for your second shot. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Frank, that's not one you're necessarily thinking about making. No, just a uh, good putt, though. There's no two ways about that. He's putting well. Good putt. Now to the par 3, 13th hole. Frank, this one, 210 yards. Very, very good par 3. This is actually a big green. It's 37 yards deep, but it actually plays small. There's a, a front right portion, there's a roll-off area in the middle, and there's a roll-off area in the back. So don't be deceived by the size of the screen. You better be pitching that tee shot right bang in the middle. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't Drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Wow, Frank, this is a really good little par four, isn't it, the 14th? It is, and this is where one of those strong three woods comes in. Um, the last 50 or 60 yards is the ball kicks down and towards the left, and it sounds like an aggressive play, but like a hard three would trying to run it down there is actually not a bad play. Is it drivable? It is drivable, but it's whether it's worth the risk. Frank, on this approach shot here at the short par 4 14th, what's the best way to attack this flag? Uh, height's always a safety factor because the ball's going to land softer. So this is one where you'd opt for an aerial approach rather than a little pitch and run. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Frank, well off the pace, but the true professionals, they keep digging, trying to get better. Now at the par 5, 15th hole, 577 yards. Frank, you remember what Rory McIlroy did here in 2010, that final round, 62? I certainly do, Rich. That was an amazing run on the second nine. And holes like this, too, he just stood up here with a driver and just obliterated it down there. The nice draw, took those bunkers out of play and just set up a mid on it. Second shot coming up here at the par five. Set up for his third shot here, looking to get it on the green with this. Hody try up next. Chance for back to back. Has it now sitting at two under par for the tournament. At last, we have arrived at the start of one of the most daunting finishing stretches in all of golf. They call it the Green Mile, 16, 17, and 18 here at Quail Hollow. The 16th is a par four, 508 yards, Frank. 
And this hole was made even more difficult when they pushed that green further left to, uh, to bring the water more in play with the second shot. I mean, it's a great par four. It's strong in every single department. Get down, look out. It's over. The green just averted danger right there. So close. What is he of all the luck? Getting set now over the putt. Well, that'll put the smile back on the face. Frank, the 17th here at Quail Hollow. It is all you want. And a bit more, actually. The only advantage the player has is it plays a little bit downhill. But when you look at the lake in front of you, if there's any swirling breeze out there, it just becomes a nightmare trying to choose the right throw. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Birdie here yesterday, trying to do it again today. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Trying to move on with a par in his pocket. And he makes it for par. Now to the finishing hole here at Quail Hollow. Frank, what can we expect? If there was a name for this hole, Rich, it should be called Narrows. The, the creek that meanders its way down the left side and actually divides that, uh, that hole into really half the size of what a normal par four should be. That makes it hard. The bunker on the right is your bailout area. Um, two, just over 290 yards to get past that. And then the narrowest green that still sits up against the lake. This is just a brutal finish. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. It, uh, you wonder what he's thinking on that. And he's made it onto the green now. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Well, that'll wrap up our coverage of the final round. This is Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novolo for EA Sports. We'll see you next week.